So, uh, so uh, Lord, I, I can I can talk fast. Questions. Pete, okay. Pete, you know, uh, I met Pete uh, when he before he was uh, engaged with the foundation, but he's a fellow Portlander and and ran the the Wiki Project Oregon which is more than just writing. He loves to write. He's very cares a lot about words, but the, the organizing aspect, what, what led you to, uh, to think that you could organize authors and, and produce quality content about Oregon? Well, you know, I, so I started editing Wikipedia really out of my interest in, in wikis and also my interest in Oregon. I had been living here. I came out here uh, to Oregon from the East Coast for college in 1991. So about 2004, 2005, uh, I had started to really become aware, you know, this was, this was my home. I had really become uh, attached to the idea of staying in Oregon, but I'd missed out on all those things that you tend to learn uh, as you're growing up about a place. And so I didn't, you know, I really, I wanted to learn more about the history, the politics, the geology, everything about the place to, to just kind of feel better situated. And but, so, but when, but when yeah. did you, when did you have your first uh, community member who is paying attention and taking advice from you on, on like how to research things and so forth? Cause I know you did a lot of guidance on how to get quality content. So well, I, so I started working on articles like uh, the article about the Columbia River was one of the, the earliest ones I worked on and articles about uh, local elections, state, uh, state offices and things like that. And, uh, and one of the first things that I really noticed was that instead of getting, now I know a common experience for a lot of people is that they try to make an edit to Wikipedia and then uh, someone yells at them. Someone tells it, to, you know, you didn't bring a good source or you didn't, you know, your grammar is bad or something like that. My experience was the opposite. Uh, and I feel very fortunate about that. My very first experience like that was that I came back to the page thinking that I was maybe doing something wrong, thinking that there might be a problem with it. And I found that people were adding information that I hadn't found yet. They were, they were improving a page that I had started. And it just became addictive to me because it was a way to connect with other people who are interested in learning about the same things and sharing information. Now, were you spending an hour a day at that time or two or three or once a week? Or how, 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 how engaged did you become and how quickly? And did you see that in others? I think I probably started off very excited about the, the elections article for 2006. I was really interested in capturing all that information in one place. And so I was probably working for an hour or so a day on that because I really wanted, I was learning new stuff and adding to it frequently. And I think I started to see that kind of interest in other people too. There, there are definitely people who spend a substantial amount of time. And then there's sort of you know, occasional editors as well. And, and I don't think they had reached their 10 year anniversary, maybe not even their no. five year anniversary. About five years. It was about yeah, five were you, years. Were you frustrated point. at the time that it wasn't recognized as authoritative, as trustworthy? Um, you know, that's a that's an excellent question. And the answer really is no, not at all. And uh, and I I don't think I've ever really found that frustrating. Um, the from my perspective, and that's because you just knew it to be trustworthy, or or because well, you no, actually, it's it's more it's because it's because that to me is not the purpose of Wikipedia. Wikipedia's purpose is to be useful, far more important than to be trustworthy. Wikipedia is supposed to be um, sort of like a signpost that guides you to the things that are trustworthy. So it helps you, and and honestly, like I, I think that that's what any encyclopedia is supposed to be. If you're doing research, you know, I remember when I was uh, when I was in high school, maybe a sophomore, uh, my history teacher saying, you know, you're in high school now, you can't use an encyclopedia as a source anymore, right? The sort the encyclopedia helps you find the authoritative sources. It gives you a general idea, but it's not something that we should really consider the best research or the most complete research about any topic. And so with Wikipedia, if it's useful, if it helps you find uh, secondary or primary sources that are authoritative, it's done its job. And you might need to double check anything you find in Wikipedia or find anywhere else because it is open edit. So, so uh, uh, you've told me that, that and, and this comes back from your work with the uh, 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 future of text and so forth, that that it's important that authors be able to know the other authors, to know who wrote what, and, and that you can address them. 
you know, so if there's a disagreement about how things are written in that, why, why, why is that so important? And if I have a wiki where that's not as easy as it might be in Wikipedia, is that, is that a real concern? Yeah. Well, so Wikipedia's model is kind of different, is, is fundamentally different from the model of journalism or academia, where, so in a certain sense, it's not, Wikipedia is designed to make it not important to know the person uh, to know who the person is, it does. It's not based on the reputation of the person who's writing. It's you know, it it really is. It's the footnote at the end of the sentence that shows you the source that's supposed to carry whatever authority Wikipedia has uh, to to you know to influence what you think about something. But uh, in terms of working with other people, it is important to be able to have a conversation. If someone makes a change that you think is wrong or that sort of opens up a whole dimension of a topic that you never thought of before, you wanna be able to have a conversation with them. You wanna be able to say, hey, I think you're wrong. This other source says something different or ask them to explain, you know, to tell you more about what they're doing um, or to help you figure something out. Uh, and as, a, as, a, as sort of a more sophisticated reader of Wikipedia too, that can be really useful. So the fact that Wikipedia makes that information accessible in the edit history and helps you, even if you don't know the name or the real world identity of the person who's written something, if you have a way to communicate with them, or if you can learn a little bit of something about their interests. Is this someone who's coming at this article, you know, about the Columbia River because they're interested in the region, or is it because they're interested in hydrology, or is it because, you know, they're interested in Native American history? There's a lot of reasons they could be working on it, and you might see that from what they choose to tell you about themselves, even if they don't tell you exactly who they are. Thank you for that, Pete. And I know that we're a little behind, so I have a few more questions yeah. and I'm just gonna skip them. <laughs> All right. But thank you for uh, 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 nice informative answers there. And I hope that that's news for some people. 